So you reserve your copy of Windows 10, your upgrade. It says right here, we'll let you know when the upgrade is ready to be installed on this PC. Now I already did this with another computer and I want to do it here for you guys so you know what to do. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to have this link right here on the description of this video. If that's going to be a step number Go ahead. Go ahead and download the tool now. So I'm going to download the 64-bit version. So let's go ahead. Download it. But before you do anything like that, make sure that everything is updated like this here. Make sure that everything is updated and it's like this. Okay. Let's go ahead and open up the uh, Microsoft tool, the creation tool. And let's put this down for a minute now. And this is what is going to happen. Upgrade this PC now. Okay, or create installation media for another PC. Like if you want to use, like if you like if you have a, an eight gigabyte USB flash drive, and if you want to have your USB bootable, you can select that right there. But let's go ahead and upgrade this PC now. That's what you need to do. That's what you want to do. In my case, my, on my other computer, the one I have for sale right now, I went ahead and created an installation media for for another PC which I could have used that right now and do the video this way but I want to walk you step by step how to do it so now if my screen recorder on my screen goes out I'm gonna pull out my uh, stand camera and I'm gonna record the screen okay so I'm not gonna miss anything like that so let's get started progress right now I am downloading Windows 10 so I am using my computer, I'm going to get back with you guys right now as soon as this is done, okay? As soon as it's at 100%. Okay, so the download already happened. So now, um, the program, it's running something called Creating Windows 10 Media. I'm sorry that I missed the whole thing. But after it downloads, this is what happens. This is what this uh, Windows 10 setup does. It goes to, uh, it verifies the download and everything. So. Right now we are 99%. So let's see what happens after that. Bear with me. Do follow step by step. Okay, right after right after it happens, okay, right after it goes through that, it checks for updates and stuff like that. Um it's gonna come to this right here. So you're going to accept or decline. So guys, before I continue with this here, before you do this right here, make sure you go down here okay because I had a little trouble with this computer now the other computer that I did um, the other computer that I did I didn't have an antivirus or anything like that so make sure you go to control panel on install programs make sure that you remove any antivirus things I had to remove the the antivirus that I had I can't remember the name right now mail malware bite I had to remove that because it wasn't allowing this program to continue. It kept unlocked, it kept locking and locking. So make sure that you uninstall any antivirus that you have. I also remove um, Skype and some desktop applications. And right now, I'm going forward. So make sure you do that. So now you hit accept and it's getting some updates. This is what's gonna happen. It's gonna go in, in, into, uh, like it's gonna check for updates and stuff like that. So, bear with me and stay here. I'm going to fast forward this video. Okay, so we're here now. Uh, right here is telling us, make sure you're ready to install. This will take a few minutes. Alright, it's checking to make sure that my computer has enough um, space. So right here, I'm ready to install. You won't be able to use your PC while Windows install. Save and close your files before you begin. To recap, you choose an install Windows Home, keep personal files and applications. So, I'm going to stop the screen record here now and I'm going to pull out my camera. Okay guys, so right here pretty much you are about done installing Windows. If nothing happens between these labs and the time where you have to log in, you're good to go. All you have to do is install your drivers and everything. So right here I wanted to capture everything on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this here 
and I'm going to play some tunes. So enjoy that and continue to watch. Watch till the end of this video, I'm telling you. Alrighty, look at that right there. Once you make it here, you are good to go. All you have to do is install some drivers missing and everything. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this section here. I'm going to upgrade um, uh, GeForce Experience and download more uh, the the new drivers for my graphics card. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward it, and I'm going to put more tunes for you. Okay guys, so that was the setup, that was how to do it. Uh, some steps that you want to do after you install Windows 10, it's make sure you have something like some driver tool check or something. I use this right here, I use driver tool kit. Um, after, after installing Windows 10, I did a, a star scan and there was an update, I mean a driver update, I can't remember the name of it, uh, that I had to do, I think it was one of these here. It had some. It had something to do with the internet, but you can see right here, I have full internet access. Uh, I am connected to my router. I mean, my modem router, kinda. It's both. It's a Netgear. So you want to get one of these here, a program. This program here, I use it all the time for all of my builds. You know that. I build computers. Now another thing that you want to do go open GeForce Experience. Uh, you can see right here I have all my drivers up to date uh, today. I up, I up, updated it a few minutes ago. I mean you could see on the video. This is my rig here. G4 GTX 980, Intel Core i7 5820K. I have this overclocked at 4.8 I mean 4.5 gigahertz. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM DDR4. I got this RAM running at uh, 2666 megahertz. 1920 by 1080, 144 hertz, one millisecond response time. The driver version, Windows 10 Home. You can see right here. Uh, these are my preferences. Uh, let's check something in here. Bam, 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 bam. Well, I can't really mess with anything like this, but I love to use Shadow Play. Shadow Play is my thing. So also make sure you have the latest GeForce Experience. This one right here is working perfectly fine with my computer. Another thing that you manually want to do is just click right here, type in update. Okay, Windows update settings. And you can see right here, just click for updates. I already installed uh, three updates that I had to do. Um, so this one right here, you can check for updates, Windows Defender, recovery. If you don't want Windows 10, you can always go back to Windows 1. Just click that up and you're good to go. Activation, Windows 10, my Windows is activated. Uh, I moved from 8.1 to this here, I do have my key. All right guys, well, I hope that this video helped you. I'm not gonna keep messing around talking about the performance of Windows 10. The main reason of this video was to help you install it. Now, if you have any issues, any problems, hit me up. Let me know, leave your question down below and I'm happy to help you, you know that. I, I'm always happy to help anybody uh, when they need help. So I hope that this video really, really helped you. And if, like I said, if you have any other questions, leave them down below. The community is always happy to help you. I'll see you guys next time. This was Creeper24, Baby Laughing Productions, Hat Tech Videos.